Hello everyone, welcome back to your favorite YouTube channel that currently is sitting at under a thousand subscribers who is playing Nordic Ashes today and host host name is Jeff, my name is Jeff. Let's uh, play some Nordic Ashes, so shall we? This game is gorgeous and the music's great. Um, we haven't spent enough time to really give it a fair like rundown, but let's uh, yeah, we're not even gonna attempt hard. It's we're still figuring out the characters. So yeah, this last time we played, we kind of uh, I can say we broke the game, but um, long sword seemed kind of overpowered. That's that's all I'll say. So I, I do quite enjoy the way this looks and sounds. Uh, what really frustrates me is this circle that whenever I shoot things in, um, uh, you know, it doesn't count towards it doesn't count towards kills if I kill things while I'm in the circle, but the monsters outside of the circle. I think that's an oversight needs to change. Um, you know, it's just probably one of those things that'll go on the feedback. Since this game did just come out and there's, you know, two, um, only two devs currently. The first video I play, I, you know, I made the first video because they team sent me a key and obviously they deserve a fair look. Um, and I did quite enjoy it. Uh, I've tried a couple times after where I just got absolutely stomped on the next level. Um, but I thought, you know, let's give the tiny developer just a little more exposure, right? Uh, this genre has room for development, and I think this game does a few things that are really, really good. And it does a couple things that are kind of frustrating. Uh, I think the static talent trees are a mistake. I think what it needs to be is... I think, in my opinion, is each weapon should add the talent tree, but then you get weapons in a way similar to... I don't even know what game, to be honest with you, but it kind of have to be its own thing. I guess we should level up, huh? We haven't really done that at all. Uh, uh, what do we want to do? I'm going to take bow. Let's take a bunch of bow. Just keep taking bow. Just all in on that. Ow. I, I, I really also want to know what's in this chest. Like, I'm pretty much locked in to, like, figure it out. One little rat boy. All right, uh, we have five. Just roll this. Just take it. Just take it. Six projectiles area. That's going to be pretty good. I think just the non random and I needed to play more, too, because my main criticism right now is that you're kind of locked into the same thing every run depending on the character mm -hmm. aside from like statistical changes but what if um you know i've had this thought but it might already be in the game and i just don't know what if there's items that drop that have their own talent trees already I think that'd be sick. Like you have a talent tree now and then you go through like a wave and you get another weapon and it has its own talent tree. I don't know. Thoughts going through my brain while I play this game. There better be like the greatest thing in the world in this chest. Also, I don't even know if we're going to get it to spawn before we have to before the boss. Let's get our uh, legendary bow here.
we got a uh, we got a wolf boy coming. I love the spirits going into the chest though. Like there's so many nice touches in this game. That nah, give me that. Give me that loot. I would like um, bigger. Or I'd like another projectile, please. Thank you. Oh, I rerolled by accident. Uh, that's fine. Give me damage. I hated the wrong button. Yeah, it's really hard to pop this chest when, like, everything's dying on the outside of it. Uh, Spellbook Demon Slayers does, like, has the same mechanic, but it just requires you to stand inside the circle while you kill things, and I think that's, like, the change that needs to be made here. If there's not... I better bit like a the dragon's horde or something out of this. I don't know. 350 enemies is a lot. Maybe just stand here. This is better. Like shift around just a tiny bit. I think we're gonna make it. I think. I really hope. Oh, I guess we can, like, get some different upgrades now, huh? With the sword guy, um, you could kind of just stand there and let things come to you and be fine, but we have so much range now that the problem. What was that noise? I heard something break. <laughs> now I heard a scratching. I don't know what's going on. Oh, maybe that was the rat. It's almost open. What, what's in what's in the box? What's in the box? If it's just a regular upgrade. Um. Okay, I'm not disappointed because these are all like big deals. But also, why, why was that so many enemies? I, I guess again, it was just so hard because of this character. I don't know. Let's start running around and see if we can find some stuff. What is that? It's a stack of money. Oh, we got a movement speed buff. That's cool. Oh, hey, 100 enemies here. Uh, we're not even going to get that. It's not going to happen. It's like, we know it's not going to happen. Um, I would like to get an extra... Oh, I just want focus. And then damage. Yeah. <laughs> like, we have a boss coming, so we might as well be ready. Uh, that is $5 for a rock. I guess I'll buy it, because I don't know what that does. Stone. Plus one damage. I might have known that, actually. Might have already known what that did, and just was a dummy. This is a star. I don't know what, I, there's stats on the side of the screen. I don't know what that means though. All right, scavenger king, what you got? I'm gonna jump on my head. Damage, 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 get out. Noki! Okay, the best part of this game is Noki, and I need more of him in my life. Also, how many levels up did we just get? That's crazy. Eight? 
Um, we could take cooldown. We could take area. I don't think we would need that. I think we just take mastery. And then um, just attack speed. And we take the bird. Oh, Revna. We have nine dollars. That's not enough for this uh, chest. But we can buy this thing. E. What? Did I just like? What? What did I just do? I don't know what I did. Can I hover over this? See what it does? No, of course not. Um. Was that like a heart container? I I legit don't know, and I kind of hate that. Oh, also, we can just go here and go ascend. Arrows fall from the sky every point. Why is that so fast? Are we broken now? Did we break the game? Guys, I think we broke it. Oh, hey, it kept track of how many we had. That's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> Sorry if I kind of coughed into the mic there. I thought I muted in time, but maybe not. Um. Okay, I do appreciate this keeping track before going between scenes because uh, that could have easily been a very frustrating point. Instead, it's not frustrating. It's actually kind of neat. Hawkeye, eat your heart out. This is nuts. Did I say heart? Eat your heart out? I mean, like, come on. Come on, Jeff. Let's, let's, let's use English the proper way. Or at least like an American, I don't know. That's not that's obviously not the proper way, but like we do it our way, damn it. Um Like Burger King. You have it your way. There's a heart thingy over here, I'm gonna click on it. I got a butter cookie! It gives me a full heart. That's neat. Why do some things have tooltips and other things don't? That drives me crazy. So I will say if you're watching this and you like you haven't bought it or whatever, I highly suggest putting it on your wish list at the very least because there's a ton of potential here. Like that's I'm literally playing it right now just because I see a future where this game becomes one of the better survivor games uh, now don't get me wrong I, I rotato is that thing for me but but I do see I do see the potential here I think I already hit this obelisk yeah let's just like move down southwest now Cause it's not it's not just a vampire survivors clone right it's got a bunch of its own ideas it's just that i think the ideas need a little bit more oven time before they're in a really great place and as someone who's had the baldur's gate 3 access for three years now like early access i bought it the day it came out uh that game is like you know it's like just now about like it's releasing in August. So it'll be four years from the time of early access till the time it comes out, which is insane to me. That's like a long period. But, um, you know, when that drops, that that game has gone from being like fun, but also a buggy mess with tons of 
ridiculous systems that don't make sense and unintuitive like slow combat and whatnot to pretty fast combat like for for you know for a turn-based game tons of quality and life improvements just the coolest little stuff and nice nice touches added i know that's a game made by like a giant studio on a huge ip but um the scope of that game is so much higher than like the scope of this like we're running around shooting things um this isn't meant to be a grand uh, epic rpg adventure this is a i want to spend 20 minutes leveling up doing something cool being some kill build cool, cool build blowing up things up in the same vein as vampire survivors right so you know i don't think you need 100 people to figure out you know where you could go with this it's just um you just gotta get there you know and honestly i'm still having fun so and if you're having fun then whatever uh two summons next that seems pretty good let's just stand still and see how that goes for a second So I have not gotten a win with this character. I was trying her on Alfheim, but I would, to be honest, I was a little sleepy when I was playing her before, like not recording. Uh, and I'm I'm a little, uh, somewhere between a little and a lot red, green, colorblind. And the, uh, the Alfheim level is pretty green. And one of the enemies shoots this like grass projectile at you that shoots, runs over the ground. And I honestly, like, again, I was a little sleepy but I couldn't really see it. Uh, so it just like kept killing me. So I was like, you know what? Nope, um, I'm out. Um, so yeah, trying this is like a higher level character. Halvard Destroyer, yeah, good luck, buddy. That actually hit me. I didn't realize that was coming my direction. So when he did, I'm gonna move. We do uh, a decent amount of damage, I would say. Okay, this boss is a little uninspired. Um, that's not true. Uninspired is not the right word. Heavy stone unlocked. Defeat Halvard the Destroyer having the stone with you. Oh? Okay, I like that. Like, conditional unlocks. That's kind of neat. We have $18. Give me... First, give me that. Then... I want to pet you. Uh, what about this? Electric rune. Level six. Okay, so here's what I'm talking about, right? This is cool. What needs to happen, I think, is this needs to have its own, like, branching talent tree in addition. Uh, if you've played Last Epoch, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what's going to really, like, put this game over the edge just my opinion but that's what i'm feeling also i'm totally just gonna like we're going all in on that thing um can we just buy this hi noki hi oh what's the difference here what does this do i don't can i use my mouse can i see i don't know where my mouse is it's my mouse is stuck in purgatory i guess Okay, mouse is back. Can't hover over it. Can't see. Uh, that's a UI thing, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna... Okay, so this should heal me. Right. I don't know what that one is. Maybe it fills up my special meter? I don't know. Bye, Noki. I wanna... You're awesome. Wow, that is a short range on that guy, huh? We're pretty strong, though. I would like to evolve my... Oh, well, hopefully it evolves. If it doesn't evolve, that's going to kind of suck, too, but... Steps in the right direction, though. Elemental Tonic. Activate the effect probability obelisk. Effect probability obelisk three times. So... The star's chance to proc... I like that. 
Um, we're, we need one more level. Little poison rat. Give me, um, I don't know what I want. Critical duration seems pointless. Projectile speed seems not bad, really. Um, I'm gonna stick critical. Paralyzed. In a little, little bit of a, was I was in a little bit of a pickle, but now we're free, and now we do this, and it doesn't ascend. That is, oh, that's mighty disappointing. I probably could have figured that out by reading certain like the ascension tool tips, but I didn't. I guess that means we need to level up the bird. That's clearly like a hawk or something and not just a bird. Ow! I thought he was gonna run by me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Birdie, can you uh, step it up? Yeah, there you go. It's also a decent amount of XP just laying on the ground right now. I guess we could grab. That doesn't seem like an unreal, unrealistic or unreasonable proposition, <laughs> I suspect. Um, it is getting a little tight though. The stick, break 100 wooden crates, another relic. Okay, I, I do like all these relic unlocks that are like very random how you get them uh, movement speed seems good I would I would I would I would take a movement speed totem obelisk thing yeah we uh, just weave on through here give me more bird damage give me more summons Uh oh <laughs> Little bit dangerous right now. I don't know, should we have taken the ult? I mean, another bird seems great here. Oh, oh, it's the, um, it's the gauntlet potion that like knocks everything back. Although that just kills them. Lord Ragnar. I'm so angry, I'm sending you to another dimension, like a boo from Dragon Balls Z. I ran right into that sword. Let's remember that this guy has actual raid mechanics. But since we knocked a target, all we have to focus on is dodging. Lord Ragnar. Oops. I almost did it.
arrow tracking seems a little funky. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, we did that with no, um, no thing. Conquer Midgar with Erna. We got half grim. Final shot. Use Sky Arrows Ascension. We unlocked things. We got passive relics. We unlocked 11 things. We did a bunch of stuff. It's pretty cool. Let's, um, we're not going to do another run on this video, but let's do this. Let's go to Yggdrasil, Yigdr um, get our one point in something. Uh, I, I was made aware that there's not nearly enough, you know, actual points in the game to get all the way down this right now. But um, let's just go ahead and take this start with a level or whatever. It's fine. We can retreat and we can reroll any time. And let's look at the mage guy, because he's a mage guy, and mage guys are cool. So, you know, you know why not? What's mage guy do? Magic missile? Is it homing, or is it random? Um... Uh, looks like it's homing, unless there's nothing in range. And what does he get? Oh, he has his own little triangle thing here. Okay. Burn, area, status, duration, projectile speed, void, crozier, cruiser, an ultimate. He's got the thunder orb, um, glacier quartz, and inferno codex. And then unlimited, whatever that is, knowledge scroll. Okay, so he's got some extra stuff. Looks kind of neat. We'll check him out next time we play, uh, sometime this week, probably. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe and all that jazz down below. Uh, also, you know, if you like the game, check out Nordic, A Nordic Ashes on Steam. Developer seems really cool. Just, uh, or, you know, just wishlist it, you know, pick it up later. Hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.